Hey Greg, down by this nice little river in downtown Edinburgh taking a stroll and it kind of got me to thinking, like, if we were going to do an NBS project here in Edinburgh, what would we do? Well, given that it rains so much in Scotland, maybe we could look at something like peatland restoration, or river restoration, or even forest restoration. I mean, great. How would we decide? Well, there's a great tool called the NBS Benefits Explorer that we could use to really start identifying, accounting for, and valuing some of the benefits that we could accrue from the NBS solutions. Oh, excellent insights, Dr. Brill. Maybe we should go inside and take a look. Let's do it. All right. I'm Greg Brawl, the Nature-Based Solutions and Biodiversity Lead at the Pacific Institute and United Nations Global Compact CEO Water Mandate. And I'm Todd Player. I'm the Digital Technology Programs Manager for the Pacific Institute and the United Nations Global Compact CEO Water Mandate. Together with our project partners and corporate partners, we have developed the NBS Benefits Explorer tool. This tool is a key starting point to help you and your organization build the business case for investments in Nature-Based Solutions or NBS. This tool helps you identify, account for, and value the potential benefits from NBS projects during the pre-feasibility and design stages. This means that you can see the kinds of benefits that will accrue, when and where these accrue, and how much these benefits could be worth before you implement your NBS project. Join us as we guide you through the NBS Benefits Explorer tool version 2.0 through this instructional video. The tool is part of our Water Action Hub a suite of online tools for water stewardship activities developed by the CEO Water Mandate. The Water Action Hub helps companies and other organizations address water risk, advance sustainable water management, and build resilience by raising awareness of sustainability projects around the world and the organizations administering them, allowing organizations to propose new projects and gain interest among potential partners, and facilitating new partners in collective action. To begin using version 2 of the NBS Benefits Explorer tool, you'll be asked to sign into your Water Action Hub account or to sign up for a new account. The Water Action Hub is free to use and by creating a profile and signing in, you can save your sessions and export results and reports to share with others to help you build the business case for NBS. Using a Water Action Hub account is recommended but not required. You can select the option to skip login if you prefer. On the landing page, you will find this instructional video as well as written instructions on how to use this practical tool. You will also find a digital repository of different documents and resources relating to NBS. Here you will find guides, webinars, course materials, papers and documents to help you gain a better understanding of NBS. The practical guide developed by the project team is a key resource to explore as the basis for this tool and this can be found here too. On the landing page, you will also find your entry point into the actual tool. The first step is to decide how you want to explore the connections between activities, which are on the ground actions that can be undertaken during an NBS project, and benefits, which are the positive environmental, economic, and social impacts of your project. If you're interested in choosing from a list of activities and seeing what resulting benefits may occur, you can select the first item in the drop down menu. Alternatively, if you are more interested in choosing the benefits that you would like to see accrued from your NBS project and discovering what activities may be necessary to create those benefits, you can select the second item in the drop-down. Next, you will be asked to select a habitat where you could potentially be investing in an NBS project. There are nine habitat types to choose from across terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. Lastly, you will need to select intervention categories. The four interventions offered allow you to select whether you want to restore, manage, protect, or create your chosen habitat type. Once you have selected the desired habitat and interventions, click the next button to continue. This whiteboard allows you to identify the various activity benefit or benefit activity linkages that exist across different habitat intervention combinations. If you would like to change your selection at any point, Click the filter icon and you will be able to add or swap out choices. At any point, you can use the additional icons to expand the whiteboard using this icon or zoom in and out using the relevant icon options. Identification is only the first step in understanding benefit accrual. We also need to identify when and where benefits accrue across different spatial and temporal scales. To explore the benefit forecasts, select an activity and then click on a benefit for that activity. Near the bottom of the pop-up window is a graph icon. So next we will click on that. 
we have developed a series of benefit forecasts which project the potential degree or magnitude of NBS benefits over different spatial and temporal scales. This expands the exercise from what benefit will I accrue to how much of that benefit could I accrue, when will it accrue, and in what spatial scale will it be experienced. In the graph pop-out window, you will find the temporal scale on the x-axis of the graph and the spatial scale is near the top of the window in the orange bar. You can select the property, municipal or watershed scale to explore potential benefit accrual across the different scales. Having approximate predictions from the magnitude of benefit or trade-off accrual across both spatial and temporal scales ultimately aims to reduce uncertainty and increase understanding of when and where investors or practitioners can expect to see accrued benefits from projects. While your forecast graphs are open, you can also select different activities related to a particular benefit from the Activities Select list in the orange bar near the top. This version of the tool also allows you to save different forecast graphs to a PDF for your reference or to share with colleagues. If you want to save a graph, click the Add to PDF checkbox at the bottom of the graph window and this will be saved in your exported summary. When you have added all the graphs you wish to your selection, use the Export Forecast PDF button at the bottom of the window to download a copy of the PDF to your device. Please note that this feature does require a valid Water Action Hub login and you must be logged in to access PDF exports. When you're done, use the X in the upper right or the close button at the bottom to close the forecast graph window. We've already provided you with options to identify benefits and understand when and where these could accrue. A variety of accounting methods attached to relevant benefits suggest ways to estimate or quantify benefits. The final step in the NBS journey is benefit valuation. Let's explore the valuation feature by clicking on the currency icon in the blue toolbar on the left, where you can access our robust valuation component. First, we'll need a bit more context on your proposed NBS project. Here you'll need to include some details, including the country where you're hoping to implement your project, the habitat type, and the possible size of the project. Once you're done entering this information, click Start a new project. Next, you'll see options for calculating the return on investment for water quantity. The first box asks how much of a volumetric benefit your project could yield each year. If you're unsure, this box is pre-populated with an average of previous water replenishment projects of the same size as you originally entered in the previous tab. You're also presented with four challenges that your project could address. Check all of those that are applicable. Click Calculate to see your estimated water quantity benefit as an annualized value. To move on to the next tab, click the Next button. We've also provided a series of details on all the economic models developed for this work. If you'd like to dive in deeper, click the Model Details link at the bottom and you can read more on how these calculations are determined. The first step here is to determine your habitat intervention category. In most cases, this will be pre-selected based on your original habitat selection during the Setup tab, but in certain situations, you can select alternatives. You will note that the water quality benefit figure matches that of water quantity. This is an intentional element of the model, but if you know your project will have a specific volumetric benefit, you can change this as needed. For now, we're using nitrogen as a proxy to determine the value of nutrients treated to improve overall water quality. Click the Calculate button to estimate your annual return on investment in this category. The Next button will take you to the following tab. Our greenhouse gas model is one of our more complex models and you will see different models for a forest habitat compared with a wetland. Shown here is the forest model. The next step is to select climate type based on whether your project is in a tropical, subtropical or temperate environment. The list of climate types shown is dependent on the country you selected on the project setup screen. Based on your climate selection, you will be provided a series of applicable ecological zones to give your financial estimates even more nuance. The area baseline and area after inputs refer to the size of the project and are pre-populated based on your initial inputs. You can modify these if needed, but in most cases this is not necessary. Next, you have the option of selecting an appropriate carbon cost based on global carbon markets, or you can enter a custom carbon value you prefer. Select the one to use to value carbon sequestration for your project. Next, we ask users to input some of the current land use distribution elements. In this example, where we selected forests as our proposed habitat type, we will need some information on the age status of the forest, 
percentage of the project area this forest covers, and the percentage of disturbance present. Next, if this is a plantation forest, you will be asked to input a few details around the dominant species, age of the stand, percentage of the project area under plantation, and the percentage disturbance present. Where there is grassland or shrubland, similar details are required there. Finally, additional considerations for any crops, infrastructure or substrate are included. Next up is to define the future state of the project. Here, we expect to see an estimated improvement in certain elements, notably the percentage disturbance or the reduction in hard surfaces, for example. Also, please note the percentage of project area fields must sum up to 100% for both the before and after the project land use before valuation can be calculated. You will also notice many information icons placed near the input fields. You can hover over or click on any of those to get further explanation of the various inputs. Once you're done, click Calculate to calculate your annualized return on investment, and then the next button to get to the next benefit category. For biodiversity, most of the information needed to calculate a potential return on investment value is pre-populated, based on your previous selections. Simply click the Calculate button to yield a value. The next button will take you on. Next, we dive into some socioeconomic considerations. Here, we use recreation as a proxy for the value of habitat restoration, management, protection, or creation. The project habitat will be pre-populated based on your previous inputs. Similarly, your forest type will also already be completed. You will be asked if your project is a natural forest or plantation and whether your project is in a protected area. Once you're done, click Calculate to see some possible values. Click Next to move to the final benefit category. The final benefit category considered in this version of the tool is flooding. You will see two input categories, before the project and afterward. We hope that an NBS project will reduce or even halt flood damage and this tab captures some of this potential. Here you will be asked to complete the possible flood extent, flood depth and flood return period. These have been pre-populated based on case studies from around the world. If you have other figures in mind based on local flooding trends, please use those. Additionally, you will be asked about the composition of the flooded area based on the percentage of the total area comprising residential, commercial, industrial, transport infrastructure, agriculture and natural land. Finally, you will see some pre-populated values for how the NBS project has reduced flooding impact, again based on global case studies. Click Calculate to establish your annualized return on investment. Next takes you onto the final screen. With all of the valuation elements complete, here we have created a summary screen, including this graph to capture the total annual benefit values across the six benefit categories. These outputs are based on your initial selections, country, habitat type, project size, and other inputs for each of the models. A total value of all benefits is also provided to help you and your organization better understand the potential return on investment of your proposed NBS project. To save your results as a PDF, give your project a name and click the Export Results to PDF button to download a report to your local device. As a reminder, you must be logged into your Water Action Hub account to use the PDF functionality. You can also explore additional options across different countries or habitats. One of the powerful features of the NBS Benefits Explorer Tool 2.0 is the capability to compare valuations for various project types, habitats and sizes. To see results for a different project scenario, such as country or project type, click the Start New Project button. We encourage you to use the NBS Benefits Explorer tool to help build the business case for all your future NBS projects. Some organizations even use the tool to identify and value the multiple benefits of existing NBS projects. So far, we've seen thousands of users across 75 countries pick up the tool. We're delighted to see its global applicability and look forward to even higher numbers of users as the tool matures. Thank you for watching this video and using the NBS Benefits Explorer tool version 2.0. We wish you well on your NBS journey.